our three-piece Giant Hardy Allium Globe Master Collection. Uh, the price today is $28.53. Again, the whole show is free shipping and handling. So even if you picked up that big garden collection, you don't have to pay for that, the freight of that really big box. It's all gonna come for free. And then today there's three easy payments for these Alliums, um, and that's three payments of $9.51. And as you're seeing here through these gorgeous images is these Alliums are truly showstoppers in the garden. These are the largest Allium flowers that you can find. The flower heads are going to grow to be about eight to 10 inches across. And then the plants, as you can see behind me, the flowers are gonna grow about three to four feet tall. So in the garden, it's truly just breathtaking to see these. It's almost whimsical, like Dr. Seuss. Your kids will love them. And not just you and your kids will love them, but your pollinators will be feasting because each of these flower heads um, is actually, it's what's called an umbel. And so an umbel is a hundred, hundreds of little flowers that come together to create a larger flower. And so if you were to see it really up close on these alliums, you'll notice that each of the little flowers are full of nectar and pollen. So you'll have your hummingbirds, your bees and your butterflies coming and fluttering around all, all season long. And then once your alliums, um, are done, you're going to be left with this gorgeous strapping foliage. And this plant is considered the transition from spring into summer. So it's it's truly a, a must have in any spring garden. And again, we're here right now, you're thinking, well, why are we talking about spring gardens? It's only the beginning of August, but this is garden planning time. So fall is just around the corner and it's in the fall when you're going to plant your spring flowering bulbs. So this is what you'll be receiving. You'll be getting home three, farm fresh allium bulbs and the difference between our bulbs here robertas is that our bulbs are still in the ground they will not be dug up from the ground until just the right moment for them to be packaged and shipped directly to your door um you know in a couple of weeks you'll pro probably start to see fall bulbs for spring flowers kind of popping up over at your big box stores unfortunately those bulbs have been dug up far too early so by the time you put them in the ground at your home they will have lost so much energy. They're just not going to perform as well. So that's why we have our growers over in Holland who we are very good friends with. Again, we have great relationships with all of our growers. And you know, they tell us we are not gonna dig your bulbs up until it's just the right time. And once you do receive your allium bulbs, they couldn't be easier to plant. Actually, I love fall bulbs for spring flowers because really all it takes is you're planting something once and then you're forgetting about it and letting mother nature really take over. So you'll receive your, your allium bulbs. You're gonna dig a hole at the right moment. Again, um, I think my brother mentioned earlier, there's three shipping dates for these fall bulbs. So if you live really far up north in the US, you'll get your bulbs at the beginning of October. If you live kind of central in the middle of the country uh, around Halloween, and if you live pretty far south, you'll get your bulbs at the end of November. And then you're just going to dig a hole about five to six inches deep, put your allium bulbs down in that soil, cover it up, and that's it. You don't even need to water them. But the reason why you're planting your spring flowering bulbs now in the fall, I should say, is because they love the cold nights and still they're getting warmth in the daytime, which is allowing them to gain a lot of energy so that after the winter hibernation, they're going to come up and give you a feast for your eyes like you're seeing here. I love this picture with that little boy in the background. I mean, the, the whole flower stem in the flower was just as tall as he, as tall as he is because these are the Allium Globemasters. These are considered the largest Alliums in the world. The flower heads grow to be about eight to 10 inches across on flower stems that are about three to four feet tall. And you can see there, that's a great uh, picture because you think, oh, I love this. This is Carson. This is my uncle Eric's next door neighbor. He always comes over every single year to take, take a look at the Allium. And in this photo, when he was still a little boy, the allium is just as big as his head, which he loved. He thought it was the funniest thing. And it's such a great photo. Um, but as you're seeing, you know, these alliums, although the heads are, the flower heads are so large, they're gonna be standing tall and strong. So I would recommend placing these kind of in the back of your spring borders. You know, if you were to pick up um, that big spring garden collection or coming up, I have some gorgeous daffodils. You would wanna plant these kind of behind all of your tulips, your daffodils, your crocus and hyacinths because they are stately and they are going to be taller than most of your other spring flowers. And that just adds, you know, every garden needs a little verticality, a little bit of height. So this is a great addition. And um, again, these are the Allium Globemaster. And now you're going to be receiving three 
bulbs. They look like this. And a cool fun fact about the allium is it's actually a part of the onion family. Now, don't worry, your flowers aren't gonna smell like onions. They actually don't really have much of a fragrance. But I make that point because if you know anything about growing onion, they're a cinch. You, I mean, anybody could pretty much grow an onion and pretty much anybody can grow an allium. They're super easy. They're long lived perennials, these alliums. So you're going to get, you know, um, one bulb is going to give you about one to three flowers this first season. But next spring, or I should say in two springs and the spring after that, you're going to get more and more allium because they like to naturalize, which means that underground, they're going to spread on their own, producing more and more baby bulbs, which will give you more flowers. And here you see them right in the garden. I love this. I mean, if you like purple, this is a must have, but then back in the, in the background, you see some gorgeous iris. So together, it just makes for a, a stately garden. And this is going to be, um, these are going to be blooming near the end of spring. I would say about May, perhaps even into June. So it's a beautiful transition. You see them here blooming with some peonies. So that gives you a, a good idea of when they would be blooming in your garden. But it's a great uh, addition to the spring garden because it's going to be that transition into summer. We like to suggest maybe plant them next to your daylilies because, uh, because the foliage looks similar to daylilies. So once your allium flowers are done for the season, you're going to be left with this gorgeous strapping foliage, which is kind of going to just ease your way into the summer garden once your daylilies start to come up. So again, this is uh, the Allium Globemaster M69924. Um, it's a three-piece collection at 2853. Free shipping and handling. There's three easy payments of 951. So if you can pick up one collection for yourself, maybe pick one up for your mother, your in-laws, because everybody wants spring flowers in the springtime. But what you don't think about is, oh shoot, I was supposed to plant those bulbs six months ago in the fall. So this is the time to start garden planning. And I know it's hard to think about the spring right now while it's still 88 degrees outside, but it's just to get the gears moving and your bulbs are not going to are not going to arrive at your doorstep until it is the right time to plant. And coming up next, oh, and at the end of the show, I have another amazing spring flower, these daffodils. These are our large cup daffodil collection. Daffodils are one of my all-time favorite spring 